Hi folks, this is Blake back here for a very quick video. I promise this one will be quick, not like the long class videos we've had in the past. This is actually a follow-up video for the last class we had, uh, 102, where I ran through a whole slew of record labels that are classically related um, that you can easily find here in the United States when you're out record hunting. Um, very shortly after I put that video up, or maybe at the same time, Steffi Vaughn um, put a video up showing her last classical record, which happened to be an Angel record. And that reminded me uh, of something that I wanted to show, and it took me a little while to, to, to dig out what, it, what I wanted to show um, with regards to, the, to that logo. Um, just something I thought was neat and, and I wanted to show I wanted to show Steffi and I wanted to show Derek too because I know he digs this kind of stuff um, and and some of the others out there in the vinyl community I, I think it's pretty cool but but it, it remains to be seen so um, Angel Records it's uh, the the, the um, Angel Record is the US version of, of EMI and uh, if you've done any any uh, reading about the history of uh, recorded music. Uh, EMI is uh, it's like a conglomeration of several businesses from way back. Um, very fascinating stuff. Um, maybe maybe when we get to some books um, I'll show you some things that, that you might want to want to dig into if you like the history. Well anyway, Gramophone and Typograph Company, very very early in the uh, development of the the, the record uh, uh, and especially the disc format and not the cylinders but the discs um, they had the logo um, a logo that was the angel logo uh, that that if you look really close the, the angel is kind of floating on on a disc and scribing the groove on the disc itself it's very cool so, so look at it very closely and you'll see what I'm talking about anyway uh, in some of the, the, the history that, that I've been digging through um, years ago when I first got back interested in records uh, in general, uh, I started picking up some 78s. Um, and and I'm, I'm showing you this and you're saying, hey Blake, that, that's, uh, that's uh, his master's voice. Um, that's not Angel. Well, it's, yeah, it it's actually gramophone uh, in typograph type type typographic company gramophone G and T I can't remember what what the T I think it's typographical company anyway they you know there's there's Nipper there um, that famous uh, the famous painting that got used as as a lo as a logo it became more prominent but but very early on they used the the angel logo. Um, I'm not sure what they called it at the time. We just we just call it the Angel logo now because that's that's what we associate it with. Well, anyway, this is a very early um, '78 from uh, from I think it's from United Kingdom. Um, let's see, da, 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 da. manufactured by the Gramophone Company Limited, um, English. No, it just says English. It doesn't say Great Britain. I'm not quite sure where it's from, um, but I do believe it's it's British. Um, nevertheless, it's a single-sided record um, from about, uh, according to the catalog numbers here or in in the matrix uh, number, it's probably around 1908, 1909, 1910 time frame, and it's a single-sided. And on the back, see if I get this right. I know it's going to be hard to see. On the back. We have an etched record. I'm sure they didn't call it etched records back then. I'm not sure what they called it. But if you if you see in the middle here, um, I know this is terrible. I'm sorry about that. I thought it would show better. But there's the angel, the big old angel. Uh, and my finger, so you can judge the size. I mean, there's the big disc, and here's the angel here, and then surrounding the angel itself, it says gramophone. Gramoph gramophone and then gramophone again. Um, I, I have another. Maybe this one will show it better. This is this is another uh, single-sided uh, nipper on the front. Again, uh, 
1908, 1909, 1910 time frame. And on the back, there's that angel. Now, they didn't do this to all of them. I got, I've got quite a stack of these, these earlier records, uh, single-sided records. But it's just, it's just smooth on the back. And, and I've got some uh, American Victors that say Victor around uh, the, the, in a, in a circumference or a circle. But there's no, there's no angel in, in the middle of it. Um, but, yeah, this one shows up uh, quite a bit better than the first one. Um, but isn't that cool? Anyway, I thought I thought you might like to to see um, some of the history of that angel um, was in use long before the angel logo uh, or the angel uh, label was was in use here in America, which I think happened late 40s, I believe, 46, 47, 48 time frame. I'll have to dig that up. Um, And uh, I, I have a later uh, 78 that I'll show you, where it, it's we, we're now we're now in a, a two-sided um, release. Um, I didn't look this one up to see when this was uh, re recorded, released. Um, I'm going to say this is this is still acoustic era, so I would say late teens, early 20s. But uh, now you can see the angel logo right there. I'll get as close as I can. It's part of the the label itself on that side. Um, but again, you've got Nipper there with uh, with that famous horn. Ironically enough, uh, the original painting, this this gramophone, I I, I believe it was actually a a cylinder uh, style machine there and not and not not like a record as it shows uh in in the the famous re-rendition of the painting that that we know today but i think the original painting there's a cylinder there um well anyway i thought uh i thought you guys would like to see this um it's probably new to most of you some of you that that have been collecting records for a long time might have seen this before but uh I thought it was very cool um, when I started making all the connections. So, Derek, there's a, there's some early etched record history for you, Steffi. The angel has been around a long time. Um, so, I would keep that angel record of yours. Don't, don't throw it away. Now, don't trade it. <laughs> don't sell it. You don't want a boomerang record because you, you will want it back. So, that's it for right now. Uh, just uh, was able to dig these up and wanted wanted to to share that with you. Um, if you have any questions? Uh, let me know and I'll, I'll I'll try to answer them or, or dig dig uh, dig up some answers for you um, out of the books that I have and uh, comments. They're right here. And uh, thanks everybody, all the subscribers. Thanks thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for commenting. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, thanks for thanks for the great welcome into the vinyl community. That's it for now. Take care guys. Bye bye.